The Sweet 80 fits into the Composer Pro body, which allows me to have this movement in the lens so that I can alter where viewers are gonna focus when they're looking at the picture. Um, as I move this around, the Sweet 80 has a circular sweet spot of focus and I can position that anywhere inside my frame. And it's such a cool tool. Um, now, it's also, so the, that sweet spot of focus, it's not only focus, it's also got this radial kind of blur, this, this motion to it that points toward the subject and just accentuates your composition. And it's a really fun way to work. Now, you can alter the size of the, the sweet spot by changing the aperture. So a, a, a smaller aperture, like f16, gives you a bigger sweet spot. And a wide open aperture, like f2.8, gives you a much smaller sweet spot. It's, it's a cool thing. Let's find some other subjects that really accentuate well with the Sweet 80. It's just gotten really cloudy above me here, and so there's no direct sunlight shining down through anything. And there's no real direction of light either. It's, it's quite flat right now. And so in a flat light situation, the Composer Pro optics give me an extra benefit of helping me to focus attention without, uh, without using focused light. And so they really help me make bland light into a much more interesting photograph. In this case, I've got this single little maple bush that's already turned a really vibrant red. And I'm gonna put that kind of in the top right quadrant of my, my rule of thirds kind of field of view. So right about that, that upper right third on the nodule, the intersection of the right hand and the, and the upper third, I'm going to position that there. And then using the uh, Composer Pro body with the Sweet 80 optic in it, I'm gonna tilt the optic to the top right. If, you're, if your subject is in the top right of the frame with the Composer Pro, with the Sweet 80 in particular, um, you wanna tilt the lens to the top right. If your subject's in the bottom left, tilt the lens to the bottom left and then focus on it. And that will really draw the, the uh, attention onto that subject there. Now, with this cloudy kind of, of uh, light that we've got right now, the colors show up more vibrantly and they're more saturated because we don't have the, the added contrast of light, bright and shadow differences uh, distracting from the color. However, leaves and foliage are also shiny. They, they have a shiny sheen to them, especially after a rain here in Oregon. And so I'm going to use this polarizer to remove the reflection of the sky that's, that's reflecting off the leaves and it's going to cut through and give me a much more true and saturated color in all the foliage around me. It's gonna be a really cool effect. 